thought it was uploading at around two and a half gig per second. That was nice. I wish I could do that all the time. <laughs> all right. Yep. Looks like I am live now. Go to the channel. Mute myself so I don't have this nice, lovely feedback loop. And so am I okay. Going to get video via Twitch or? Uh yeah, because I don't have enough upstream otherwise. All right. Yeah, sorry. Shrug. Okay. So, um, all I need to do now is load the correct save state because I load from, um, I saved off save state. There we go. I believe I was last in Grand Seal and I just picked up my first useful character. You know, Kiwi. Oh. Kiwi's totally a useful character, right? Right now, the Google Hangouts window is larger on my screen than the actual Genesis emulator. Ah, uh, I kind of like this music, oddly enough. You know, uh, I've been listening to the Shining Force soundtrack a bit since the first time mm -hmm. I watched you play Archer Force 2. Like, it's a good soundtrack. Oh, and for those of you that are actually watching at home, so to speak, um, if you see that blue icon, no, uh, uh, darn it, it's mirror imaged. Uh, if you see the blue icon right there, that means that Rex actually talking. I decided to throw on an icon so we can figure it out. And by talking, I just mean he's connected because I'm too lazy to figure that out otherwise. <laughs> okay, that works. Fear the laziness. Fear the. Shining Force 2 soundtrack is very earworm. Yeah, it is. I'm trying to remember if there's anything I can actually go pick up now. I think I need to wait until bad things start happening before I can actually start picking up more Mithril. So, let's go ahead and take a look at my force. Uh, Kiwi is underleveled, but not by a huge amount. Good. And knowing you, he'll be like five levels ahead of everyone else in like three fights. Probably, but there's also a decent chance he's going to die because <clears throat> actually his defense is halfway decent. Um, I'm not used to seeing Kiwi with how many hit points and still, yeah. Yeah, he's not normal Kiwi. Well, yeah, he has double the hit points of normal. Um, let's see. Yep. Bowie feels I'll pity. Now, uh, bring up the spreadsheet. And yes, yes, you can. Although I'm still, I'm not gonna rattle off. All of the details. Oh, please don't. I yes. I might mention, like, uh... How bad I've screwed something up. Woohoo! I know. I might mention, like, stat affinity after, uh, a few levels have happened. Mm-hmm. I'm just double checking things. This might be the last time I have to actually look at a, around at things. Spoiler, spoiler. Also, I want to know why this person is just. Oh, sorry, not that one. That person is just lying on the ground. It probably what? Uh, the stream's a minute behind, is it? Nah. <laughs> Oh, well, the standard Twitch delay is like 20, 25 seconds, I think. Okay. Uh, Nobody knew that King Gallum was a wizard! Um, I did. I wonder if he had an owl sent to King Gallum earlier. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, if I had more upstream, I would probably just also send that to you at the same time, since Google Hangouts is a lot less laggy than Twitch. Eh, but it? I'm currently pretty close to maxing out my upstream, just doing a 720p video. Yeah. <clears throat> oh man, it's going to be interesting seeing if I can stream Persona 5 when that comes out, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> Alright! Find out when I... Stop, please stop! Don't make me use my sword anymore! Mostly because it's a cursed item. Actually, I still don't know what a sword technically does, and don't tell me. Oh, yeah, you're gonna... That, that, that's actually gonna be an interesting... Yeah, I have no idea how the AI is gonna handle it. 
Oh, yeah, good point. Well, I mean, I know the AI can use items for magical effects, because bosses already do that prior to Lemon. Right. Please don't move, or I'll have to kill you. Please! That um, was pretty cheap. Oh, right, that. Yes. I don't think I copied it over. Meh. No big so deal. I actually don't know offhand. Sweet. I just remember that it was something where I saw it and was like, oh, that's kind of cool. All I'm predicting is that I'm going to start screaming the moment it happens because it's going to be horrible. It so. To you, I think so. Well, yeah. So to explain to the people that don't realize, um, later on you end up fighting a mysterious someone that just happens to look identical to Lemon. And that mysterious someone has a dark sword. The Dark Sword in normal Shining Force 2 is an instant death attack for um, using it as a magical item. However, I removed all of the instant death from the game because this is a Nuzlocke and instant death is really stupid in Shining Force 2 anyway. Yep. Really, really stupid because for some reason I'm the only one ever affected by it. <laughs> um, as a result, it has a random other high level effect. I don't know what it is. It's going to be a surprise when it gets used on me. At least I'm hoping the game actually uses the Dark Sword effect. And not instant death anyway. <laughs> that would actually be funny. <laughs> that would be very sad. Wow. Yes. Uh, King Grand Seal and the Minister are coming with me. Because, you know, the Minister is oh so great of a fighter. I suppose I can look it up in the wrong. That's okay. Um, the king, on the other hand, is actually a halfway decent fighter. Too bad he doesn't actually use his abilities. Um, Breck, did you realize that the king, eh, King Grand Seal, is actually one of the characters from the um, Shining Force Guiding series? I think I've heard that, or you like someone. I, I think you've told me about that. Mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, I am a bad person and don't pay a ton of attention to plots. <laughs> Plot. Fire Emblem and Shining Force, etc. Well, um, go ahead. I got like seven or eight. Well, no, that's not true. I got maybe like sixteen or seventeen combats into the first Fire Emblem, and then I just started smashing start <laughs> between combats. I like combat, and I like plot. I mean, I. Uh, Did I already search. In Fire Emblem, the plot just takes so fucking long. Yeah, I suppose. Yep, I already searched. Okay. That's what it is. That's right. <laughs> oh, knows. Oh, go. Go and save her. Sir Astral is right. That's not my king. That's a devil. Me? I'm almost a goner. Strange black cloud enveloped me. Cough. Eh, it says the same thing twice. Lemon must have gone to the um, Loman School of Acting or something, I don't know. <laughs> you know, uh, on um, your Subsonic, there's mm -hmm. a direct link yep. to uh, Seth and Sean doing that skit. Yep. That's because I had to put it somewhere, and I wanted it somewhere that I backed up. So, yeah. I I clicked on that not well no actually I didn't click on it I clicked on um Zed theme mm -hmm. because and that was Zed theme, well yeah it. and then it just plays that the John in the middle of like at work and I tried oh, yeah. to burst out in laughter I should probably actually have the Twitch stream open so I can see any of the chat I completely forgot to pop that out before I closed it oh, whoops yeah Sasha not here okay hey Sasha uh, let's see, live now, okay, I'm muted, and, yep, Sasha's here, you and Sasha are the only ones that are actually in the chat, and pop out, then I can move that over there, close that, minimize, I do not care about TwitchCon, there we go, hi, okay, 
I mean, can't can Grand Seal help me? That would be great. Be really great. I could really use a high level fighter or high level thief right now. Who's King Grand Seal and um? Ah, uh, crap! I can't remember the, his name now, but he's a thief class. So you know, having an extra Slade would be really nice right about now. Ah, yes, King Galum's portrait. It's absolutely beautiful. I also played the Shining Force Academy game. Cause I played him. I, I only played two of them. Is he in the? Is he in the Game Gear only one? Um, yes, the one that wasn't released in the U.S. Okay, that's why it doesn't ring a bell. I'm yeah. Like, I don't remember there being a thief in Shining Force yep. Gaiden. Because I've only played the ones on Shining Force CD. Right. Um, this is the one that takes place in between Shining Force 1 and Shining Force 2. That has part of the characters from both. Hmm. And it has everybody's fan favorite character in the game also, just for fun. Blast! Oh, wait, you weren't casting the spell, gotcha. Why is the video halting to buffer so much? I mean, I'm not using up all of my bandwidth. Oh, it's not doing that on my end as far as I've hmm. seen. I've not been watching it uh, super closely because I've been looking up <laughs> signing for CD. Gotcha. Uh, and opening up the ROM to check what... I'll kill you before they have a chance to attack! Now commence the Great Wizard Duel! Just try it. Yep, Great Wizard Duel, right there. It was just impressive. <clears throat> if I could remember any of the spell names from Harry Potter, I feel like I should have said some of them, but I don't. Oh! Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Hey look, we need to save the princess now. Devils, I summon thee! Now I summon the really crappy ones! Jump. Okay. I believe, yeah. The one that looks like Sway Slade is Kiwi. The one that, or promoted Slade, I should say. The one that looks like promoted Kazin is Slade. And the one that looks like regular Kazin is Archer. I wish we knew what caused that. Oh, I think I know what it is, actually. I well, think sure, um, we... Figure out how to fix this. Yeah. I might be able to figure out how to fix it, but I'm not sure. Okay, let's take a look at the lay of the land, shall we? We've got Jackass... Asshole. Jackass. Asshole. Wait, I thought there were melee units. Guess it's just the dark smoke? Oh. Sounds like you knocked something over. Yes. Well, more that I was setting something down. Ah. Do a thing. Okay, move five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I can't move. Got it. <laughs> Actually, I can move to there. That that's smart. Go me. Do do archers actually do extra damage to flying in this game? Yes, they do. It is okay. a hidden effect. It's plus twenty five percent damage. Okay, it's one of those things where it's kind of hard to tell because every flying that isn't Peter right has super shitty defense, and then Peter just has super high defense. Exactly. So, yes, there actually is an effect for it. And actually, oddly enough, Peter's immune to it. Oh, okay. Yep. I mean, with Peter, it's hard to tell because it, he just doesn't fucking die. Correct. But, Why uh, would he want to die? You want me to be die? Sorry. But, but with the, the other flyers, they're just glass cannons anyway. Okay. Uh, Chester has enough HP to tank magic damage, at least. Yeah. Ha! Oh, um, you didn't equip anything on Kiwi. What? There's no weapon equipped. Okay, that's strange. Sorry. Wait, yep, you gave me no weapon on Kiwi. 
So, I'm going to be egressing somewhat soon. Yeah. It's okay. That's a freebie. Huh. Character is it under start data? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Nothing. All right. <laughs> I mean, normally that would be okay for Kiwi. Okay, so your movement is seven. Yeah, you can hit all the things. Your move is five. One, two, three, four, five. You can hit jack squat. If I don't move, got it. Beware of the wall of archers! Blink. It was probably just that I, that I forgot to re-add something after, or forgot to add something because normally it was take something off and then re-add, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to egress anyway, so. Woohoo, 10 XP! <laughs> ah, crap, I didn't even realize I was within range for that one. Woohoo! I used agility for the first time! <laughs> I mean, it's actually a good spell. Ah, Slade leveled up. One doll. Nice. On the downside, Slade's about to take an archer to the face. Or, spear to the face. An archer to the face. Wow, that's impressive. Uh, is egress time now, or should I continue? This is a little on the dangerous side, but I think I'm okay now that I have a healer. Your hubris shall be your death. Probably, yes. Besides, I think Sarah has a um, angel wing. I remember picking one up, so I'm pretty sure it's Sarah. Yes, yeah, someone has an angel wing. Not Sarah. Damn it. Ah, oh, it's Chester. They were way more expensive than they are. Yes, it's Chester, so not a big deal. Uh, let's see. Whose defense is lower? 11 defense, 10 defense. Hi! Yeah, I'm going to escape. Without having a, you know, set of equipment on a certain someone. Frack! It's not like the extra damage from the staff would be that much. It actually would be for me right now. Or it might be, it wouldn't be. Oh, well. Oh, wait, I actually have an extra wooden rod, don't I? Oh, yeah, that's right, you do. Yeah, you got one to you got one to drop, if I remember right. Oh no, I just have the short rod, which I'm going to go ahead and give to Kiwi because wait. Did did I read that attack right? Okay, no. Okay. For some reason my brain initially saw that as uh twenty seven instead of seventeen. No, not quite. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I think I need to walk back to Galem in order to be able to get another short rod. Let's 
go replenish the angel wing. Do, 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 do. Buy some seed or herb. Sorry. Yep, that was not what I wanted to do. Exciting times in inventory management. Crucial part of. Well, when you only have four inventory slots per player. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. So speaking of game, so speaking of situations where inventory management actually matters, uh, I, I, I am, I'm, I, I'm amused by how much easier. Dragon Quest 4 on DS is compared to on the NES because you essentially get you, you can essentially get infinite gold uh, like five hours into the game. Hmm. Because well, okay, so uh, chapter three of Dragon Quest, you play as a merchant. Okay. And you have to generate like a hundred thousand gold or some insane. I think no, it's twenty thousand gold to build a tunnel between two places that. Eventually, the main character in the final chapter uses to get to a uh, major city and blah, blah, blah. But the way you do that is by being a, an arms dealer. Okay. Um, you find you find weapons, give them to your wife, who's the shopkeeper at your shop, and you eventually come back later and the game will sold all of them. Mm-hmm. Um, so in the, original, in the NES, you have... Um, an inventory size of eight. One of them is taken up by a plot item, so seven. Okay. Um, so the process to make money via this is actually fairly is a little slower, and you actually cannot take money from chapter one through four to chapter five, but you take your inventory contents. Right. So you would normally fill up your inventory and then switch chapters, as opposed to now where filling up your inventory is infinite. Yes. So instead of taking seven swords of malice, which all sell for 2,625 gold, guess is the number I know off the top of my head. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, you can take yeah, 50 of them. Sweet. Yeah. This has been your random bit of RPG trivia for the day. I know this path really well. Especially this part. Although technically in uh Okay. Dragon Quest 4, it's the cautery sword instead of the sword of malice, but whatever. Okay, so, let's try this again, shall we? Ah, crap, I forgot. Both of them can do that. Hiccups? Yeah, apparently. Die! Thunk! Do I heal or do I smite? Oh. Wait, is there oh, no game audio? No game audio on the stream. Also, a new person has arrived. Um, yeah, there actually is game audio. It's just really quiet. Uh, I'm looking. Mic and turn on the Twitch audio. So okay. So yeah, um, the mod is a random. It's sort of a randomized Nuzlocke, um, random-ish. Basically, what I did was I had my friend Reckner run, or I created a spreadsheet that randomized all of. How's it going? Yeah, the audio is incredibly low on the stream. I don't know okay. That. Yeah, I can so. pump it up a bit more. Okay. Basically, part of the problem is that I need to keep the audio really low for myself. Fair enough. Oops, crap. 
that's not what I want yeah, to do. Yeah, explanation. Basically, every every character's class was randomized, and then if it's a spellcaster, all of their spells were randomized. Uh, the only unfortunate part is that uh, part of the modding process messed with the palette and or sprites that were being checked. Spoon, if you're talking, I'm not hearing you. I wasn't talking. Okay, yeah. I can see your mouth moving on the stream, but it's a lie. Yep. Yeah, so the current state of the force is basically way too many archers and a priest. Yep. Thief. Hence the nickname Archer Force 2 right now. And a mage. Actually, wait. Is it really just mage, priest, thief, and archer? Yeah, uh, no. Um, Bowie is a um, right, Bowie's, Bowie's bird brain. <laughs> so, way too many archers. They spoil the broth, right? Hmm? Too many cooks spoil the broth, too many archers spoil the broth. Same thing, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. Boo! No counterattacks. Counterattacks bad. How did you get to go twice?! Okay, now I'm a little scared. Oh, okay. Ouch. Yeah. So, okay. Let me think. This guy is gonna wreck my crap. He... One, two, three, four, five. I don't think he can even reach Kazin if I move Sarah up there. I'm not going to risk it, though. No, he can't. Because he's got five movement. It's one, two, three, four, five. Can't be on top of a spot, so it'd be one of these spots. And if I move Sarah up there, he can't get around, because one, two, three, four, five is as far as he can go. Screw it. However, if I do kill him, Slade's gonna die. Great. I did not think my cunning plan through. Attack 17, attack 9. Actually, Slade would probably survive the attack. Well, gotta take risks, right? Oh, nearly gave me a heart attack there, Galen Knight. Okay, another new person. Hello there! And yes, this is a little on the odd side. You know, you should probably put a description of the mod in... Like, yeah, I probably should. Which but that would require me to actually have the Twitch stream opened again. Well, yeah, but you do it between streams. Yes. But it's a... As the title implies, a Nuzlocke challenge for Shining Force, which is to say, every character's class is randomized, and for casting classes, their spell list is randomized. So at the moment, there is Bowie, the Birdman, 
Jaha the Mage, Slade the Archer, Sarah the Thief, and everyone else as an Archer class of some variety. <laughs> Damn it, Rack. What is with Archer Force 2? Alright. Archer's gonna wreck my crap. <laughs> Okay, but we can take that hit. Sweet. I don't actually remember when the next, when you get May. When I get my next Peter archer. Next you get. Yes, yeah. Peter will be the next person that I get. I just won't be able to control him. And for reference, even though it is a nuzlocke, I am not counting AI controlled units as dying. That just no. I have no control over that. If I was no. doing a straight up nuzlocke non-randomized, then I might be able to pull that off. I've done it before, after all. Does. Peter start in a location where he needs flying? No. Okay, good. Because that would have made things interesting. This is going to get really painful really fast, isn't it? Okay. Who else is around beyond these two? That's the next archer. Two, three, four, five. Sarah's going to be moving, so the archer won't be able to do anything. I'm actually fairly safe over here. Okay. Yes, the great mage Jaha is now my highest level. Ooh, MP2. Nice. Blaze 2! Woohoo! I'm just real quick doing some math on when, what the highest ratio of um, archers in your forest will be. I don't want to know. And I'm wondering if you've already... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yes. You will never get higher than you were when you just, before you got key. Good. When, when it was 50%. <laughs> Stupid archer force two. You do hit a peak back at 40% at a, a point later in the game. Maybe. Assuming that nobody dies. Well. Alright. I know Jaha is injured. Is there anybody else? Oh, that's right. Bowie's even more injured than Jaha. There we go. And everybody's gonna come after Bowie anyway, so. Aww. Like I said, everybody's coming after Bowie anyway. Oh, Bowie the bird brain. So let's see, um, other weird things about this mod. Uh, we have things set up where instant death is not a thing. Um, as a result of the order that you get characters, the archers started out a little more powerful than normal due to the fact that they actually had bows. And there are no bows in Shining Force 2 normally that early. I think that's mostly it. Um, Sarah started out a little overpowered because she had a, uh, yeah. thief weapon at the start of the game, but that's, at this point, fixed itself. Mostly. Mostly. Nope, not Blaze 2. <laughs> yes, Blaze 2 for one hit point of damage. This makes perfect sense. Although I probably should have saved that for... Kiwi. Oh well. It's a bit late now. I am not looking forward to fighting the damn Dark Smokes. I mean, two on seven shouldn't be too bad. No crit, no crit, no crit. Who else is even injured now? Other than now, it's just Jaha is now. Dark, is one of the dark smokes a the, the load bearing monster? Or no, is it... there are no load bearing monsters on this battle, if I remember right. Okay. Q 
Kiwi's gonna fall behind on levels because I can't afford to keep anybody damaged for him to attack. <laughs> this just throws off all my strategies. Yep. Bye! Always leveled up. One to all. Okay, am I in range of the dark smoke yet? Six. No. Two off. All right, Kiwi no longer has any more healing. If I was playing Shining Force 2 by myself at this point, I would egress because that's my rule of thumb is to win the egress is when the healers run out of MP. <laughs> I have very heavy users of healers, though. Nice joke. Okay. You have move five, two, three, four, five... Okay, I'm going to be luring the dark smoke on my turn. How stupid of a move is that? Very. Ooh, going after Chester. Yeah! Ah! Dark smoke bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be painful. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I love the delay that's caused by this. I know, right? Dramatic tension. Luckily, I do have a couple of good healing items. Ooh, full 20 hit points for heal- or 20 XP for healing. Nice. Ah! I think I just lost- nope, Kazin's alive! Okay, um, I'll wait for the chat to catch up. Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't think that Dark Smoke was gonna get a chance to attack again. Wow, you got- Yep. I'm not gonna say lucky because it's really a formula, but actually, it is. Way... There's luck involved with the formula. It's a random roll. Oh, fair enough. Okay, so do I egress or do I actually go after them? The priest enemy in the upper right is probably gonna kill someone. Or not priest enemy, the mage. Even worse. Can you um, the mage the is gonna smoke? do six damage. Can you kill the dark smoke and heal? Or actually, um, the mage won't be able to reach Kazin. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, yeah, kill the dark smoke. Or attempt to. Yeah, I may have to egress, but I'm pretty sure I can save Kazin at this point. Aren't they really weak against freeze or something? No, no, they're not. They're strong against freeze. Damn it. Die already, you piece of crap. Good. Damn, Sarah. Dem levels. They're apparently weak to fire. Yes, apparently. Well, if I would have known, I would have just blasted them. Okay. So, let's see. You have five. Two, three, four, five. You can get up to there. 
You can't get after Kazin even if I move. Screw it! Yeah, the trick is... Well, you should have enough healing items to be able to... Oh, yeah, I have tons of healing items. Before you have to... Before you fight the, the second Dark Smoke. As long as the Dark Smoke doesn't crit... Or double attack... Or attack Kazin. Let's close the loop. And double attack. Man, I wish I had heal two right now. Nope. Waste all the healing items! Kini must be pretty close to leveling at this point. Yes, attack the mage with blaze. <sighs> Alright, sanity check time. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm fine for another round. Hmm. Will the priest end up starting to move up? On its own, or will you have to get into a dagger range? Um, I'm already in the aggro range with Chester. Oh, yes, you are. However, it doesn't particularly matter. Stabity. Team Kazins. I love how both of the Kazin markers are... Yes, and I'm aware that the Dark Smoke get two attacks per round. It's the reason why I'm counting for movement for one, because I'm going to assume that it will attack again immediately after. Because its init is 130-something, I want to say. Ah. Yes, thank you for the additional XP. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I'm still okay on range. Oh, good. The clerk. Oh, the cleric will always do that. It's part of the AI script. Ah. Is anyone even injured? Yeah, that's right. Minor, like one to two health. Yep. Sarah's two down, and that's it. All right. Dark Smoke can go after either Sarah or... Sarah Jaha or Bowie at this point. And now they can't. Stabity. I mean, I'm horribly unbalanced on leveling, but with how dangerous the Dark Smoke is, I don't think it would be a good idea for me to grind. Yeah. No. Okay, let's make sure my math is right. Two, three, four, five, six. Crap, they still can attack Sarah. Luckily, Sarah is my tank, so... Hopefully she won't die. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. <sighs> Heal! <laughs> 
Yay, Kiwi leveled up! Ah! Two hit point, two MP, and blast. Ooh. AI mistake. Interesting. AI could have killed Kiwi there. Are you really going to complain? No. I'm confused. And happy, but confused. <laughs> Critical for six, really? Suck it! <laughs> Yay! I am horribly unbalanced on leveling now. <coughs> Damage by exactly 12. Yep. Princess Alice, come here. Come here. Pip pip. Father. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Shriek. Freeze! Ha ha! Oh yeah, I have freeze spells. Tee hee hee. Watch out! The king is murmuring something! It takes the princess to let us know that we need to watch out. Swamp. You'd think Shining Ball would not uh, be a better attack given that it has the same spell looking effect. Oh well. Of course the king's fine. The king's a freaking ninja. Thus, time for plot. Gay plot. I'll open the door to the evil world! Observe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Blink, blink. Drop the base. Yep. Dom. Bar. Bar. Why? What's inside in that evil place? Oh no! Swirly things! Ah yes, one of Bowie's very few lines. I love how they need to actually state this, because it wasn't obvious by that. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm just going to let them go off side of the screen for a while while I wait until Sir Ashtel's done speaking. Oh, wait. They stopped conveniently. Save her. Save her now! Yes, the best plan ever. Bowie, you're good at performing acrobatics because that's been mentioned at all in this game. Nowhere as good as Sheila, though. Eh, when in doubt, you just throw Bowie at the problem. But you don't need to. Bowie's a bird. Bowie can just fly up there. Too late. You're too late. Whee! Funk. Don't mind me. I'm just going to finish grabbing it after they're all the way up to the top of the screen. Because why not? Wom, 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 wom. By the way, this is actually a special sprite. If I remember right, when I was looking in the files, there's nothing else in the sprite other than just that one appearance. Hmm. He's so brave! Uh, I know this is one of my favorite games, but the plot is terrible. Flare! The light! The light! I'm still trying to figure out how that happened without Bowie grabbing the jewel first. Help me. 
You'd think Ellis would have, like, leveled up a crap ton from being in the evil world for so long. Sigh. Yep. Yes, the Birdman Falls. Gotta love it. Maybe he just hovers in combat instead of actually flying. Although that's actually a different movement type. Yes, it is. Because that's a thing. Hovering is far better than flying. Because you get defensive bonuses? Yep. It's one of the reasons why Kiwi is so strong. Yeah. Normally. Praises you never expect to hear about it. Yes. Other than from me, because I think Kiwi's actually a really good unit. But only when leveled up properly, and that's really hard to do. Let's get out of here! Don't mind while the entire screen just moves a little bit. He won't budge. We'll have to carry him. Bowie, you need to actually leave. Just saying. All right. Is it one mithril or two mithril that's in the city while it's falling apart? I think it's one. Wow, this recording is going really long. I'm not so sure I'm going to have time to do two battles this time. Strange earthquake. But wait, you must escape. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Damn it, Astral. No. No, not everybody is safe. Majesty, Sir Astral, are you alright? Escape, why are you here? <laughs> They're all on the ship to avoid falling into a plot hole. <laughs> Woo, help, help! Nom nom nom! Um. Yeah, I know that there was one at Sheila's dojo. Uh, let's see, where is it? Here it is. There it is. All right, so I should have everything now from Grand's Island. No. No more room for you. Yes, let's go put out. Um, uh, Minister, that kind of means something else. Just saying. Also does mean yes, I know. Oh yes, to the mainland. Don't mind us. Let's just shove the entire town onto a boat and head off to the east. I don't know why it's making that noise, but you know. Bye bye, Grand Seal. Hello, Grand's New Island. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, okay, look, now we're back to happier music. Ooh, another one of Bowie's rare lines. What, he has six total? I want to say. We have no choice. There's not really any other islands except for the other islands in the world. Admittedly, that's further away. What I want to know is why is the beginning part of Shining Force 2 sound like that there's a narrator, but the end part doesn't? Does the narrator die somewhere in the middle? <laughs> I, you know? Sarah, look. Oh, hey, look, I'm a sweet ninja. Also, um, does somebody else have Kiwi's lines if you don't pick them up? I mean, I've never not picked up Kiwi, so I don't actually know. Huh. Oh, that's good. Where? Um, anywhere you want? Ah, there's just less dialogue if you don't have Kiwi. Good to know. Not that I would ever not pick up Kiwi, because I really like the character. Whoa. Ship has crashed into the shore. Oh, no. What's new? Build the new Grand Seal right here. Ah, that would make sense. I wouldn't pick up Kiwi for a speedrun, that's for sure, but I'm just not good with speedruns on games like this for some reason. They have to settle in place, because if they don't settle in place, they'll be wasting turns. Exactly. I mean, come on, obviously we're playing Civ now. Help me remove this plank. Uh, did you look at the um, Civ 5 Let's Play I linked to in chat last night, by the way? Uh, no, actually, I didn't. You linked to it last night? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it's a mod that puts... Um, it's how I needed a bath anyway. Civilization V, Peace Walker. It adds Big Boss as a faction leader. Mmm. I don't want to bring that plank above deck. It is interesting. Although the plot kind of requires you to know a little bit about Metal Gear Solid Series. Don't I know, I'm, I know, I've never actually, well, I've played Metal Gear Solid 1, but not a huge amount. I think I've already actually looted all the barrels here. Yeah, I was pretty sure I looted them earlier. Yeah, you can bring up the plank. Hup! I got it. Thank you, boy. Romp. Yeah, I'm really scared of Taros, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to die before then anyway, so it won't make that big of a difference, right? <laughs> ah, the Northcliff battle. I could North... these guys actually watch one of the uh, archive Shining Force speedruns. I've watched some of it, but not a huge amount, just because, well, time. Wait, wait. Hey, you're all wet. Tee hee 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 hee. Alright, I will actually be stopping once I have a turn in this battle. But thou must. Yes. But 
but thou must egress. Besides, that, then you get to see that the priest actually exists here. Huh, I wonder... Can you actually go and get May at this point? Hmm. I'm gonna try. I don't think you can. I'm pretty sure there's something that's... Oh, that's what stopped you. Okay, well, I will go ahead and create my save state here. Wow, I've been yelling the entire time. I apologize. It's really loud on my side. I need to figure out a way to... Save four. Um... There we go. Um, I'm going to stop here because, well, it's been right about an hour, slightly over actually, and I try not to play this more than one hour at a time. Um, let's see. I'm really concerned about my attempts with against the Kraken. I'm going to die. I'm definitely going to lose people there. I might just have a complete TPK because that is not an easy battle, and now I've got a bunch of really weak units instead. Ah. <sighs> fights between now and Kraken? Uh, let's see. There's North Cliff. There's optional fight in between here and Riddle. Is it Riddle? Whatever town it is that you get May. Um, town between Maze City and the um, Hobla Hobgoblin Cave. Hobgoblin Cave. Um, battle going up to Vulcanon. Battle heading... There's no battle heading back from Vulcanon, so the battle in Beto afterward. Um, so I would say a minimum of six battles in between. Okay, so it's still a ways away. Yeah, but, I mean, it's less than halfway. I mean, I'm more than halfway to it at this point. Right. Um, What's the last character you get for the... I would be getting both Luke and... Um, damn it, my brain's saying Wolfric. That's the Red Dragon Inn character. Um, yeah, Gerhalt. Okay, but you don't have Rode. No. You don't get Rode until you finish the second battle of Northcliff Cave. Okay. I've got a long time before Rode. Remember, Rode's the first pre-promote, so... I know. I know. Having Rode would make it a lot easier of a fight. <sighs> I'm gonna die. In any case, thank you for watching. Um, this will be uploaded to YouTube in... Uh, usually Twitch takes longer than I do on upload, so probably about an hour to an hour and a half, uh, so you can catch any parts that you had missed. I will see you some other time, good kitten internet, and I'm going to hang up now, because this is a good place to stop. Talk to you later. Bye!